Hey everyone, welcome back to another thrift haul video. My name is Lindsay. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today's video, I have a thrift haul from two different stores and I only had two hours to go to these two stores. So I was on a time crunch and I went as fast as I could, but I did find quite a few good things. Some of this is to resell and some of it is to keep. I did find quite a few vinyl records and a few home goods. All right, let's get started with the home goods first, and then I will do the vinyl records, and then I will do the stuff that I will be reselling. All right, so the first item I found was this nostalgic item, the dark crystal. Um, I don't even have a VCR, but I'm starting like a little VH VHS uh, collection. Um, so I have this one and ET so far, but yeah, I definitely wanted to pick this one up because it's in really good condition and I liked the green uh, bubble case. So yeah, this was about, I think I still have the price tag on it. No, I don't. It was $1.99, I believe. All right, the next item I found that is a home goods item. This is an Overwatch coffee cup and this I picked up for my husband and this was $1.99 and he's really into this so I definitely wanted to pick this up for him. Next I have this home good item. This is to replace another thing that I took off of my wall. It matches my home decor and I thought it was a perfect little message. So there's that. All right, next I will do the vinyl records. So I picked this up because this is one of my husband's favorite movies and this is the soundtrack to Howard the Duck. It's in great condition. So we're gonna add this to our little nostalgic collection in our office. All right, next vinyl records I have here, Tom Petty. And this album, I'm not really sure if I know the songs. I haven't listened to it yet, but I do love Tom Petty, so I definitely wanted to pick this up. Next, uh, I picked up this Muppet Show album. This is from the 70s, I believe. Yeah, 1978. Here's the back. I love stuff like this for my vinyl records collection, so I definitely wanted to pick this up. Next, I have David Essex. This one is really beat up, as you can see, um, but the record looked fine, and I haven't played it yet, but I just definitely wanted to pick it up because this type of condition doesn't really bother me. I'm just adding it to my collection, and as long as the record plays, that's, that's all that I care about. So I definitely wanted to get this because I love the song Rock On by him. All right, next I have The Best of Bread. Now, I don't think this is a very popular band. I could be wrong, but I do know a few songs by this band. So I definitely wanted to pick this up. Uh, this is from 1973. And my last record that I picked up is Gary Wright. Gary Wright, and he sings the song Dream Weaver. They play that song in Wayne's World, if you've ever seen that movie. Um, yeah, and this record is from, let's see, 1975. So that was a cool find as well. All right, so on to the clothing to resell. I still have the tags on these. I haven't processed any of this inventory yet. All right, first thing is this Def Leppard Pyromania t-shirt. This is a size small, and to be honest, I'm thinking about keeping this one. Uh, but if I do decide to list, I will probably list around 25 to 30. All right, next one, this is a really cool find. It's a size 2XL and it's 
Newfound Glory, which is an emo band. Here is the back. And this is in great condition. So I'm thinking I will probably list this one around 25 to 30. All right, next we have another band tee. This is Pierce the Veil, which is another emo band. And this one looks to be in good condition too, but it's a little bit more on the faded side. This is a size extra large. So this one I'll probably put for about 25. And, oh, two more, okay. This one is just a Rolling Stone tee, Rolling Stones tee. And this is a size medium. And it kind of is a little sheer, like a little bit of that burnout material, but not quite. It's really soft and light. So maybe 25 on this one, because I do think that this is quite common on Poshmark. So yeah, we'll see how this one does. And for the final thing that I got, I'm not sure about this one, but I do know it's vintage and it is single stitch. Uh, the size is XXL. And I think it might be by this artist or designer, but I cannot figure out who it is. So if you know who this person is or this brand, definitely leave a comment and let me know. I have looked all over Google. I've looked in people's Poshmark closets and I have not found any answers. Um, I mean, this may or may not be that brand, but it reminded me of that brand. So I don't know, what do you think? It says black duck on it, but look at the graphic. Doesn't it look like that one vintage t-shirt artist person, I don't know. I could be wrong, but this graphic is really, really good quality. Um, that's what made me think it might be that person. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. That would really help me out. Um, so yeah, I will list it without that information, but if I do get the information before, um, I think I'm still just gonna list it kind of high and see where it goes. But here is the single stitch and it's just on a Hanes beefy tag. So yeah, we'll see how it does. I didn't pay too much for it. So um, this is kind of like an experimental piece for me. All right, well, that is it for my little thrift haul. If you wanna see any more thrift hauls, definitely consider subscribing. And if you wanna see any what sold videos, maybe some thrift with me videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.